The Barbarian Armor is one of the best armor sets in Tears of the Kingdom, and it makes a return from Breath of the Wild. This armor set not only gives you a great attack boost, it's also one of the first clues towards the existence of the Zonai people in Hyrule, and those clues were found in Breath of the Wild. Well, today I'm going to walk through how to get the Barbarian Armor so you can win any battle with ease in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. But if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for all the latest Tears of the Kingdom content. Well, the Barbarian Armor comprises of three armor pieces. You've got chest, legs, and head, and the hunt for the Barbarian Armor is going to take you all over the caves of Hyrule, plus you'll battle a range of enemies too. Okay, first of all, let's have a look at the Barbarian Armor chest piece location. So you're going to find the Barbarian Armor chest piece inside Crenel Hill's cave. That's at the coordinates 0484-0729-0041. And when you're looking at the map, that is northeast of Lookout Landing and southwest of Crenel Hills. So when you get inside that cave, you're going to see a lot of luminous stone ores all around you. So just follow them when you're inside the cave there. And if you have a rock hammer, now is a great time to stock up on gems. Do be careful though, there is a big stone talus in the middle of the cave. So the stone talus fights can be lengthy, and you can skip the whole thing if you carefully creep around. The central cave where you'll find the armor is shaped like a circle, and the stone talus is in the middle, so just stay away from the middle there. When you drop down to the cave, stick to the left and go around the cave, and then when you're on the other side of the cave, you're going to see a path above. So climb up there, and you're going to find that chest with the barbarian armor chest piece, and that chest piece is going to give you a plus one to your attack power, plus also three defense. Okay, next up we've got the Barbarian Armor Leg Piece location. So you can find the Barbarian Legs inside Walnut Mountain Cave, and that's at the coordinates 3931, minus 2068, 0129. And when you're looking at the map, that is east of Hateno Village, past the Hateno Ancient Tech Lab. And if you have a look at the map again, it's next to a small lake south of Retsum Forest, and you should be able to see it on your map there. The cave itself is pretty tough. So you've got lots of goblins. You've got a huge one. You've got ice keys. You've got ice like likes. So you can fight the enemies or you can sneak around there and make a run for it. It is up to you. So if you are going to fight them, then take out the keys when you first enter the cave. Then climb up to the upper levels and then take on the goblins. I find fusing arrows with different elements of Choo Choo to be really helpful here. So you can freeze your enemies in place if you fuse a white Choo Choo jelly to your arrow and that will give you a little bit of breathing room so keep following the path and you're going to be met with an ice like like who's guarding where we need to get to so take them out then jump over the gap and that will take you into the room with the chest finally the chest itself is encased in ice so you want to make sure that you're going to bring something that will melt ice so you can make a fire with a bundle of wood and some flint and hit it with a metal weapon to create fire or you can use arrows fused with fire fruit, so choose whatever works best for you and whatever is in your inventory. But do remember something that's going to help you create fire so you can get that chest out of the ice. Open up the chest and you'll get the barbarian leg armor, and that'll give you a plus one to your attack and a plus three to defense. Okay, finally, we've got the barbarian armor headpiece location, so you can find the barbarian helm inside Rob Red Drop Off Cave at the coordinates 2487. Minus one four six seven zero zero one three, and that is southeast of Kakariko Village. So check out your map. The entrance is slightly northwest of Rob Red Drop Off and south of the Fallian Highlands. There's also a lot of stone statues outside that will point you in the right direction. So the stone statues, they're going to show you the path towards the loot. And if you see a statue looking in a particular direction, they are subtly pointing you where you need to go much like we've seen before, down in the depths for the earlier quests. So before you enter the cave, try to stock up on bomb flowers or rock hammers, as you are going to need to get through some rocks to get this loot. So the first room has multiple statues and three paths forward. So check out the statues and you're going to see they are facing the centre of a circle. And then you've got three that are facing a wall, and that is where you want to go. The path is going to take you into a room with a lot of bokoblins, so do be prepared for a fight. And the chest you're looking for is on the other side of the room, and you've got two stone statues that are facing it, although there's a locked door in the middle, meaning you can't get there, so you have to get around that locked door somehow. 
So to get the chest, you're going to need to destroy the rocks that are in the centre of the room. And this is where your bomb flowers fused with arrows come in handy, or your rock hammer. Although you will need to slam Link into the ground to smash the rocks if you're going to do it with a rock hammer. Try to keep the enemies at bay with some fused arrows. Again, ice arrows are really good here to freeze them in place. So in front of you, there's a path to climb down to. That leads to three groups of statues. Starting on the left, the first group has five, the second has one, and the third has three. Stand in front of the group of the three and use Ascend, and that's going to take you directly up to the room with the chest. Finally, open up that chest, and you will get the Barbarian Helm. So now you've got all of the Barbarian Armor. You've got plus three to your attack at all times. Plus you can upgrade the Barbarian Armor set at the Great Fairy Fountains. The set bonus is Charge Attack Stamina Up. That means decreasing the stamina used by your charge attacks. So that's going to be really, really useful when taking on loads of enemies. Well, let me know in the comments what you think of the Barbarian Armor. And that is it for this guide for how to get the Barbarian Armor in the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And as always, thank you so much for watching or listening. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really, really help me out. Otherwise, you can check out all the other videos on Triforce Times, all about Tears of the Kingdom. Well, thanks again, and I'll see you soon.